So a lot of exciting things have taken place over the last 24 hours. ADA obviously pushing and continuing to do well at the time of filming this video. BTC yesterday surging and setting a new all-time high. A lot of excitement in the industry. And now there are actually discussions about Charles Hoskinson having a very prominent role in this new administration that is coming to the US. And I wanna have a discussion about this with you guys. I'm Luxide, welcome to the channel. If you guys are new or haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Hit that bell again, it's free to do. It'll keep you updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Obviously looking at ADA, we're kind of where we're at yesterday when, when I started filming my videos, kind of floating around that 44 cent range. We're showing some strength. We're, we're basically fighting this resistance at, at 44 cents, guys. And remember, there's kind of this gap in liquidity between 41 and 44 cents. So we may kind of bounce around here depending on what volume looks like over the weekend. Right now, things are kind of cooling down a little bit, slowing down just a little bit. ADA actually just dipped below $1 billion on the 24 hour volume. The great thing that you need to know is that ADA is starting to act like a top 10 coin again. People that had complained for a very long period of time, it's finally acting like where it's supposed to be. And the great news is it's showing some signs that it wants to continue extending this run and moving even further. And I'll get to that a little bit more, uh, maybe a little bit later on in this video. Now, obviously, BTC has helped with this. BTC is setting a new all-time high of 77 229 yesterday, very strong sign for the market. Another great institutional day, uh, $293 million worth of, of net flows. That's a very positive sign. BlackRock kind of leading the way there. And this is what's helped us kind of have a nice little push into the weekend. Again, we'll see what retail decides to do, but there is a lot of positivity floating around. For example, VanX CEO is seeing a $300,000 potential in terms of BTC, and this is coming on the back of... Um, of this $77,000 push in terms of Bitcoin. So we're we're seeing all the right things take place. There's a lot of excitement right now. So we are in fact seeing some of this USDT dominance continue to drop off. A lot more excitement for those people sitting on the sidelines right now. They are in fact starting to flow into the market, which is what we've been waiting for. This is again, when ADA starts to perform extremely well. And this is why uh, patience is important in this market. For example, Germany missed $1.1 billion in profits because they decided to dump their BTC on the open market. Now, that being said, who knows why they dumped? Maybe they thought that the top was in. Who who really knows, right? But for people that were dumping down here for, for ADA, I don't know what to tell you, all right? We talked about price being the lagging metric. We talked about the potential for the next move, and, and ADA is finally starting to live up to its potential. We still have a long way to go to, I've seen people complain, oh, we're not at a new all-time high yet. Yeah, be patient. Normally doesn't happen until sometime around December, January anyways. So we'll see how we close out this year. Hopefully this is something that can compound as excitement builds in the market. And one of the things that is actually getting people excited right now is this discussion about Charles Hoskinson possibly having a crypto advisor role under Donald Trump. Now, I have to say, this is just speculation right now. I've seen a lot of questions about this. I've had people messaging me on Twitter asking me, hey, is there any legitimacy to this? And frankly, we don't know. This is something that was talked about by a staking pool operator having this discussion. And would the question is, would this really surprise me? No, it really wouldn't. Charles Hoskinson has, in fact, spoken in front of Congress before. He has connections with countries around the world. He's kind of essentially in a... Uh, crypto advisory role for Cardano adoption throughout the world. And this would be actually a very big deal for Cardano. And what we have to remember is there's not really a conflict of interest here because now we're getting to this point where, again, the community is in control of Cardano. It's a fully decentralized blockchain. Charles Hoskinson, frankly, will not have a role in Cardano moving forward. And that's where the little bug in the ear of the, the incoming administration may in fact help adopt Cardano infrastructure even quicker. Now, again, that's speculation as well. Nobody knows the direction that things are going down. But when we look at what blockchain is best suited to help bring us into the crypto adoption era, the crypto infrastructure era, it's Cardano. So all the pieces are finally starting to align perfectly. And this is, this is really what's helping with ADA price. This is really what's going to help with crypto adoption as we get further into this market cycle. And frankly, as an, as an ADA holder, you should have more excitement right now than you did here or you did here. There is all the potential in the world right now for ADA to do some very exciting things in this market cycle for Cardano to make some serious headway. And this is why patience is important. The long road is finally coming to an end and we're opening up to a much bigger and brighter world ahead for the Cardano and, and ADA ecosystem. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. 
Let me know your thoughts below. Is this a big deal? Do you think Charles Hoskinson is in fact going to help in the White House? But have a great day. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.